In our last video, we talked all about when you're creating your video for LinkedIn, what should you be keeping in mind? This topic is all around when you're ready to share your video on LinkedIn. You've done all your hard work, you've, you've put it all together, and you're ready to share with the world what should you be keeping in mind, what should you be doing to get the most from it so you make sure people actually watch it and like it and engage with it and share it themselves with their audience. Let's talk about that right now. I don't know about you, but I like it if people actually watch my videos. I mean, it's fun to make them. It truly is if you do it the right way. But to make, to actually get people to watch it, interact with it, that's the best thing. So how do you do that? There are three things I'm going to, to share in this video. And the first one is all about text. Now, I'm not a huge fan of text. I like video because I'm a visual guy, obviously. But the text inside the post, when you share your video on the feed of LinkedIn, is very important. As people are scrolling by, the video will grab their attention. The visuals, will, they'll be like, oh, what's this? But right after their, gra their attention is grabbed, they're going to go up to the description, up to the text that's above it. Our brains can work, do a lot at the same time. So they can be listening and watching and reading at the same time. And they're really wondering, what is this video about? We're all impatient. We're like, we don't want to watch the whole video to find out what it's about. So they're looking to the description to get that answer. And what you need to do is write some sort of description or, or what something that captures their attention that sparks curiosity. You could ask a question where the video is the answer to the question. And they're like, well, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'd, I'd like to know the answer to this. So I guess I'll keep watching. You could also add a lot of text and copy to the to the body of, of the text there. I've seen a lot of, of folks do this. And it's a smart strategy because for folks who don't like to necessarily watch only, they, they, they like to actually listen and read at the same time. And if you have, don't have closed captioning, especially, have the same content, the same copy maybe that's in your video, maybe cleaned up so it reads nicer than if the way you speak, as the body of the description of your, of your content. And so if they click read more, they'll be able to read along with it. And it keeps them engaged and helps convert in the end. You really need to hype them up to get them excited to watch this video. If you need help though, figuring out what your messaging should be, if it's not just word for word of what's in the video, take a look at CoSchedule's tool called Social Message Optimizer. Kind of gives you some ideas and some, some thoughts around um, what would be a good message and what wouldn't be and why. The second tip I have for you when you're sharing your video on Facebook is tag relevant people. Tag relevant people in the comments that you think should watch it. Maybe you collaborated with someone and then you can tag them so that it shows up on their feed, then they can interact with it, or people that you think would find it of value. One great way, a reason to do content on a regular basis is that you it's a great sales tool for people that you just start a conversation with, you've been emailing with, you're talking on the phone, and you connect with them on LinkedIn, you can tag them and say, hey, hey John, I thought you might find this video valuable and uh, you know, love to hear your thoughts. It's just a touch point, whether they watched it or not you show up in their feed. So it's a great way to utilize that video in a sales environment as well. Now, if you see myself tagging you on a video, now you'll sort of know why I may be doing it. But you get the concept and it, it's a smart strategy to get even more engagement from the piece of content you're already posting. The third tip I'll share with you when you're posting your video on LinkedIn is to use a hashtag and make sure you have a call to action. Now, these are kind of general marketing concepts. Actually, hashtags are become, I would say, a general concept across social media. Hashtags allow a additional viewers that aren't part of your network to come across your content. And, and LinkedIn is really promoting this a lot that I can see. They want you to use hashtags for, for conversations, especially if your video is a thought leadership video on a particular industry or, or news topic that's going on, make sure that you have those hashtags in there. But also use your own hashtag if you have a series going on. So if someone is curious on the other videos you've made, or you want to send this to someone, say, hey, take a look at our series on LinkedIn. If you're, you've used a hashtag in all of your posts with the videos in them, you can then send them to that, and then they can see the whole stream of all the content. So it's a smart strategy. And the call to action is definitely a no-brainer in marketing terms. You've got to tell them where to go, and whether it's in the description or in the comment section, which I think is a smart strategy. A lot of people do that um, because then they're reading the video and it's right below it. And ideally, your, your comment is the first one that shows up, and then you could direct them to where you want want them to go. It's all about conversion, right? You want them to take action, do something. So make sure you have that call to action in there. I can't wait to see your videos on LinkedIn. Please tag me in it so I can take a look at it as well. Be sure to also watch our other videos on when you're creating and sharing videos on LinkedIn. What should you keep in mind? Follow, subscribe to our YouTube channel or our LinkedIn series to find out even more video tips when we get them online. I'm Alex with Your Local Studio. We'll see you next time.